Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're asked, where does the normal line to the parabola y equals x squared minus 1 at the point negative 1, 0 intersect the parabola a second time? So we just drew a, start with the sketch because that'll actually visualize what it's asking us. You have this function, which is the y equals x squared function moved down one unit. You can think of it as just this parabola right here. And point negative one zero is going to be right here on this graph. So where does this intersect a, the parabola a second time? What is this asking? Well, the normal line is perpendicular to the parabola. It's perpendicular to whatever graph you have. So it's going to be going something like this, right, where it's perpendicular at this point. And you can see it'll hit it over here somewhere. So how do we find that? First, we have to start with the derivative. Because then if we can find the derivative, we can find the slope of the tangent line at that point. And from the slope of the tangent line, because we know it's perpendicular to the normal line, from that we can find the slope of the normal line. Okay. Firstly, let's find the derivative. y prime is equal to, if we have 1x squared here, that's a power function. Taking any coefficient out first, multiplying it by 2, which is the exponent. That's how you do power functions. Taking the exponent, subtracting 1 for your new exponent. Derivative of negative 1. Negative 1 is a constant, so therefore its derivative is 0. So therefore, your derivative is equal to 1 times 2 is 2. x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first power, which is just x. So therefore, the derivative is y prime is equal to 2x. Now, we're not just looking for the general derivative. We're looking for the derivative at this point. So if we plug in negative 1 for x, y prime is equal to 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. That means the slope of the tangent line is negative 2. Since the tangent line and the normal line are perpendicular to each other, that means their slopes are opposite reciprocals. That means negative 2 times the slope of the, of the normal line, different m from this one, is equal to negative 1. They're negative reciprocals because they multiply to get negative 1. Divide by negative 2. Yeah, m is equal to negative 1 divided by negative 2 is 1 half. Now we have y is equal to mx plus b, equation of a line. We know our slope is 1 half. Um, now we know that the point negative 1, 0 is on this line. So therefore, if we plug 0 in for y and negative 1 for x, we can solve for b. So 0 equals 1 half times negative 1 plus b. 0 is equal to, making sure you can still see that, negative 1 half plus b. Bringing that up here and just rewriting it so we still have space. Adding 1 half to both sides. To isolate b, we get 0 plus 1 half is 1 half, which is going to be our value of b. That means the tangent line is going to be y is equal to 1 half x plus um, b, which is 1 half. So, we know that this line intersects at negative 1, 0. We also know it intersects a second time. To do that, we have to find, we have to set these equations equal to each other, and then we can find the point of intersections. So, we have y is equal to x squared minus 1. If I just write that right here, sticking that in. And y is equal to 1 half x plus 1 half. Therefore, since these are both equal to y, they're equal to each other. Getting everything over to one side so we can solve the quadratic. Subtract by 1 half x, subtract by 1 half, do the same on both sides. And you still can't see that, so we're going to move this up here. We have x squared minus 1 half x minus 1 minus 1 half is minus 3 halves, and that is equal to 0. Since everything over here cancels, which was our original goal. Multiplying everything by 2 to get rid of those fractions, we get 2x squared minus 1x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now this is something that we can factor out, equal to 0. We have a multiple of negative 3. One of them is going to have to be multiplied by 2, and we're going to have to have them sum to negative 1. 
not look like we're gonna have that option immediately looking at it. Because if we had, right off the bat, if we had negative three plus one, then this would be positive x. So if we flip these, this is gonna turn out to be minus two x, or sorry, no, I had it right the first time. There we go. Just doing this on the fly, so it's a little bit difficult. So if two x minus three, times x plus one, and that's gonna be our fraction function. So two x minus three equals zero, or x plus one equals zero. We know for this one, subtracting x is equal to negative one. We already knew that was gonna be the point. For this one, solving for x, two x is equal to three, dividing by two, x is equal to three halves, 1.5. Now we have to find the y value because we have to find the analogous point. So y is equal to x squared minus 1, so 1 1.5 squared minus 1. y is equal to 1.5 squared is 2.25 minus 1. y is equal to 1.25. So at this point, which is going to be our final answer, the x is 1.5 and the y is 1.25. And that is going to be the point where the normal line to the parabola at the point negative 1, 0 intersects the parabola a second time. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.